Today I'll be going over how to create a content distribution campaign. One of the nice things about content distribution is that you're simply working and paying influencers to distribute either social posts, share them, uh, or even share PDFs, videos, anything digital that you're looking to have pushed out there you can quickly do with a content distribution campaign because you don't need to send the influencer any product. <clears throat> So when selecting content distribution, you'll want to pick then a budget. At this point, you can pick any type of budget uh, that you want. Uh, typically, we say have the best ROI. I'm going to select between 175 and 300 because I'm looking to get a, maybe a little bit higher end influencer. Now, just because you select that budget doesn't mean that you have to pay the influencer that. You'll get a wide range of different types of people applying. Uh, the difference is right here within the content details. So this is going to be the component where either you can select previous content that you've created or you can add new content. I'll add new content. I'm going to want people to post something on Facebook and Twitter. So that's what I'm going to select. And at this juncture, you can either type in an exact message or what you can do is select the bulk edit and you can type different messages that potentially could go on different networks. So for example, let's say on Facebook you wanted people to like your Facebook page and Twitter you wanted them to go after your Twitter post and share that. You can have two totally separate posts this way. Typically, um, sometimes I'm lazy and I just like to do it all in one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually looking to have a social post shared uh, from my Facebook page. And this is a a brand, Rusty Skate, that's one of the first mobile skate sharpening companies and they made a great video. So I want actually to share this video. So I'm going to pause that and I'm going to go back to my post and I want somebody to post something along these lines. For example, hey check out this cool new skate sharpening business paste that and I'll do hashtag hockey okay and this is going to be the post that an influencer is actually gonna post on there uh, and we'll want to probably change that check out um, on their page so this is going to be a perfect example of somebody distributing and sharing a social post now if you're going to be doing some other more advanced things you can also add a video Typically, if I'm just sharing a post, that's all I really need because this is going to be what the influencer is going to repost on their profile. Now, for example, if I was doing something with a blog post, I may want to use special instructions and give them some additional information potentially about what, do, what am I looking for, what am I all about, etc. But at this juncture, I'm not going to use special instructions. The campaign title, uh, simply I'd like to put something social post about mobile skate sharpening and then my category sports I'm gonna create the content and what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna pull in the uh, social graph information it's gonna select my shipping information automatically and at this point I have options that I can work with to add some additional settings but that's really it at that juncture simply publish the campaign allow influencers to start applying and then you'll be able to hire the people that you want to start distributing the content.